So here we have the uh, K series sitting in the engine bay. Not as it should be, but uh, as you can see, it's a bit off. But uh, this is the mount that I got for Mitch Auto Parts. Um, this didn't fit at all, so this was too small. So what I did was I used a deep grinder and I just shaved it off, maybe two mil max on each side. Then I started from the wider part here and just you took a hammer and you know put it up all the way um, so it actually fit as it is now this might still be you know I can still move this a bit around um, then there is one mount here which goes to the subframe which you need the original Toyota mount for uh, I have my subframe here uh, but I'm missing the mount so um, you need one of there then that one is the original mount uh, on the MR2 and in the back uh, it's a bit, bit hard to see but there is a mount there um, you can see it there which connects to one of these I just need to figure out where it goes but um, that's what you do then the selector shaft um, you have to shave off the counter weight so um, as you can see there, I cut this off um, because you need to. Then there is a mount that sits here, which you can see there. That's the uh, bracket for uh, the um, cables. You need to cut off this part here um, because this hose here that I created here should go on somewhere there um, like that kind of no not like that but you know you get the point um, then I think that's kind of it you just need to you know get all these things sorted oh yes um, the other the other thing you need to do is this um, throttle body the cable is too short is it this um, let me see if I do have it um, I don't even know where it is now, but um, yeah, here we go. That one is too big, so you have to or make this smaller or make the hole bigger. I'm going to check how much the difference is, but I might just make this a bit smaller unless I, you know, uh, destroy it in some kind of way, which I don't want to do. Then this hose connects to here. Um, they say it's a bit too short, but you know, it looks okay. It actually looks too long in my opinion um, So we're going to sort that out Then I guess one of these um, That one should go on here, as you can see there um, And those are not needed. So I'm just going to start um, like I said, you need the original uh, cable loom as well, which I got here. Um, the only part that's annoying is that this part goes the other way. I don't know why, maybe it's in the Civic, it goes the other way, I don't know. But um, these wires here go through there um, and hopefully it fits. Then in the car, I got that little piece of shit loom from which outer parts I will show you. So, it's this piece of loom. So, um, this part goes to the original Toyota. Then, I guess that goes in the Honda loom, I would say. And then, three pieces come out. Um, if you check the Honda loom here, we can see that we have these. And we have these. So this one, you know, goes, of course, into this, you know, straight adapter there. What the other ones are for, I don't know. Um, clearly, on this loom here, I can only connect this gray adapter. So, uh, and then we have these two, which I don't know where to connect them to. Um, and then we have that one which I don't know where to connect to either, but I will figure that out later. So, just going to get started a bit. 
I'm using these because I don't have an engine hoist. So I'm using this for now. Um, so let's see how it goes. Um, if we, you know, put this up a little bit. So here we have an update, putting the engine in the car. Um, like I said before, I don't have the proper tool, so I'm trying my best with, you know, whatever I have, shovel or whatever the thing is called. Some. So, um, I need to put the mount on that side. Um, that side isn't really connected correctly, but I did that so I know that one is, um, you know, folded up. Then, um, I cut a piece of this, so um, as you see, you know, it doesn't align yet, so I think I have to cut a tiny bit of hair. Um, but whatever they said about 4 inch cut, that's clearly not correct, because if you do this, it's too tight as you can see. So um, I might get a custom 90 degree, something like it, um, so above and devil there. Um, then. Let me see, we lost cables here. They go to the inside of the car, which I already put there. Uh, then we have, let me see, we have this cable here. Um, oh, sorry, not a cable, it's actually uh, a water hose, which is this one. There we go. So that one goes down. To here um, this one is a bit long though but it goes there oh no try not to uh, destroy your hands but this one goes there this is actually a custom one I made myself I think um, normally they are a lot longer but you can see how much hose is left over um, this one goes to the upper radiator um is it yeah i think so and i think this one no that will go to the lower this one goes to the upper um so this is kind of like this here and then i could put it under if i really wanted to even like that so it's nicer then we have these cables here um as you can see it's kind of annoying um but i'm going to try and find a way to get this more to the back because I don't need this all the way here um, so whatever I can find or uh, to do um, I know the engine isn't in correctly yet and it's not up either as you can see there on the mounts so um, but it doesn't look too bad space wise it looks more space than a 2cc um, about the alternator that some people have questions here you can see the clearance is actually not too bad as you can see it yes it's not fitted yet um, and it's quite tight but it should fit without you know a lot of problems um, so hopefully this will be fine I need to put my belt on it still um sheet of mounts uh, if you can see they are not connected yet because the engine isn't in place that's why but i want to put some bolts in it first so i know what to do but i hold it up by this at the moment um uh, just to have it in place but in the end it's not a bad looking engine um i think it's not too bad then i have my fuel goes there um, and the fuel will be somewhere here so um, I might need to relocate that but if you do it like this it will be fine as you can see there just point it up um, like there somewhere and then that that's why I made them so long then the other side is way too long that one goes all the way to there here so I don't want to have to cut the my fuel wheel because it goes here I was thinking of making the FPR there, but uh, got the, I mean, fuel pressure gauge, gauge, but that doesn't work. So I might put it on the same position as I did before, which is over here, which isn't too bad because I still have a host upstairs, I think somewhere, to connect from the fuel wheel to the FPR. So it doesn't matter where I put it, it should be enough space. 
Um, as I said, I have no engine lift. So what I did was I lifted the car completely down. Um, as you can see there, it's just leaning on a brick. I know it's not the safest and those things are completely on the ground. But, uh, and you can see some scratches on the gearbox there as well. But it's not a beauty contest. Um, but if I have it down completely like that, this was the way to put in the engine. So eh, it's getting there. So the selector shaft has been installed. Well, almost then. But um, basically, I think it has to go like this. Um, so this one goes there, and then that one there, and then here. Because, you know, it makes sense. Um, see, it moves this thing around. So I guess that's correct. This one I haven't put in yet. Um, because I need to check if they are correct for us before I do that. Um, also, I need a clip on that side. Um, and all those things, you know, I haven't, um, you know, connected it all up yet. So I'm just trying and see how everything fits. Some, some nice new shiny bolts. That one I actually couldn't connect. I don't know why. So I have to figure out. Maybe it's the shorter one I have. Um, other than that, not, not many changes yet. Um, need to figure out this um, throttle body thing. Um, as the hole is, is um, too small. So I'm really debating if I should make this a little bit smaller. So it fits there. Or if I should make the hole bigger. I'm not sure. So I'm going to... I can't bore this out and it's really hard to get there. So I'm thinking of maybe I can just foul this a bit off. So um, other than that, not many changes yet. I do like this engine looking how it looks in the car, but uh, it's raining and it's crappy weather. I'm doing my best to get everything sorted as quick as possible. So 